Hi, welcome to the Farmington Public Library's online resources introduction to Learning Express Library. My name is Betty Decker and I'm a librarian here for the Farmington Public Library. Learning Express Library is a database that the library provides to you free of charge as long as you log in with your card number and your PIN. Today I'm going to show you the ins and outs of Learning Express Library and some things you might not have realized it can do. So right now I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to go to the library's webpage, which is www.infoway.org. Now the homepage puts you right here uh, where you see the places to search for items, your account information at the top. Over on the left hand side, you'll see online resources. Now this room is where we keep all of our databases at. Now the databases are in the middle pane, and these are databases that hold all kinds of information, peer reviewed journals, information videos, online classes, everything you can think of. On the left hand side, you'll see a subject guide for some of those databases. And on the right hand side, you'll see websites that are free of charge. You don't need to log in with your card number or PIN number. So you see the Overdrive site, which has all the library's eBooks and audiobooks for you to download. This is the same format for every page. Now, I know that we're doing Learning Express Library and I could just use the A to Z list in the middle and jump down to L and do Learning Express Library. Or I could use one of the subjects to do Learning Express Library. So Learning Express Library is in the, uh, located under the Educator and Parents page. It's located under the College Resources page and the Adult Student Resources page because Learning Express Library provides a lot of information. Since I know the title, I'm just going to click on the alphabetized list and we'll do Learning Express Library. You'll see here it's in courses for GED, academic tests, licensing, citizenship, and computer software. Now it's geared toward middle school, high school, college, and adult, and it does have a bilingual component. Now remember, when you're not at the library and you click on Learning Express, it's gonna ask for your library card number and PIN. This is that number under the barcode on the back of your card, and the PIN is the four digit number when you got your library card that you chose. It's going to take me straight to Learning Express Library. Now, Learning Express Library is one of the databases that they want you to have an account with them. And the reason we suggest that you do have the account is because some of these are testing and they'll hold your test and where you're at in the test for that. So we're gonna do a sign in and register. Now it doesn't ask for much information. We're gonna be new user and we're gonna register. We are the Farmington Public Library that should already fit in them. Um, I am not a European Union citizen. I am going to put my name, my email, and I'm going to give it a password. Now, once I register, I'll be able to still go to every uh, section within the da database that I want. You'll see this is my center, and if I had tests or tutorials or ebooks that I had previously be looking at, they would be right here. So instead, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna do a little bit of descriptive things here. So they have broken theirs down into little sections and you can see, and they explain things like that. So the Career Prep Center, if I click on it, it will show you all of the exams that they have that you may take. Say you're looking at doing nursing. So you can click on the nursing exam section. And these are all the tests that they have for nursing. Um, so you'll see the RN, the PN, some nursing aid tests that you can look at. And sometimes they have even the test prep books for you to look at. Each section is different and you'll find different things under that. So the Career Prep Center really has tests and eBooks for you to further your career or maybe change your career and go into something new. The High School Equivalency Center is just that. If you need help with the GED or the high set, any of those testings, you will find that in here. You can see the Build Your Basic Skills section, 
And it has the reading, the writing, the math section, maybe some grammar skills and vocabulary, and different tutorials underneath, and different skill level as well. Now, I know you out there are maybe deciding to go back to college in these times, changing of jobs. So if you need to head back to college and you need to take the ACT, the SAT, or any test like that, you're going to go under college admissions test prep. And you'll find the same, same similar books as the GED and the HiSET, but for the ACT, the SAT, and any of those exams. Now that's not to be mistaken for the college students section, which is down here. And that's just improving your level or maybe going to graduate school. So if you're doing a math skills review for college, it's going to have some basic math, but also a little bit higher. So maybe you need an ebook for statistics, or maybe your calculus needs a little bit more to get it up to college level. You can find those here. One thing I do want to take the time to show you on the home screen is the school center. Now the school center does elementary, middle, and high school. Now the elementary doesn't go all the way down, it goes to about third grade, but you can find some practice in there, some testing in there. So if we do elementary, you'll see mathematics skills and English skills. If we do middle school, you'll see mathematics skills, social studies, English language, and high school entrance exams if you need to take one of those. And under high school, you'll see mathematics, social studies, technology, logic and reasoning, English and science. You'll find ebooks and practice tests in each of these. So if we want the uh, biology practice, we can download an ebook. It's biology success in 20 minutes a day. And you'll be able to save that in your center so that you can come back and read it. That's why we created the account to log in. So it's downloaded a PDF. And I'm just going to open that up and it's biology success in 20 minutes a day. So they have updated this in 2018. This is the contents. So you'll be able to take a section, learn a lesson, and even do a little test prep in the book. Now all of them are different. So this was biology under the high school. Now, if we go back to maybe look at the elementary one and we do measurements and data practice, you'll see a tests. Now, you may, be able, you may have the option to print some of them. You may just have the option to take the test. And each of this will tell you differently. So if you want to look at grade five measurement and data test, we'll start that. So it gives you some information about taking the test, changing your answers, how it's scored. Um, you can choose your test mode. So if you just want to do a practice first, or maybe uh, you want to change it to learner and see, then you can start the test. So if we choose, we'll stick with practice and we'll start the test and you'll be able to see how the tests are done for each one. So you drag each item into its equivalent top for this one. And uh, some of the tests are just record the answer. Some are more interactive as the drag and drop. It tells you on the side. So this is a drag and drop question. This is a fill in the blank question. These are answering multiple answer questions. So you'll be able to look at all of those. So I'm gonna hit finish later because I don't wanna score my test because I didn't answer anything. And I can say save, close without saving or cancel. I'm gonna do close without saving. It's gonna return me back to the measurement and data practice page, but I want you to be able to spend a little bit of time on here on your own. Different sections provide different type of tests or maybe different eBooks or even different practicing. So if the middle school or the high school may have different things than the elementary has. If we go home again, You'll find two other sections with tests and then making the uh, Learning Express Library bilingual section. So the adult uh, 
core skills. Uh, if you want to make your math skills or reading skills, raise them any higher, or maybe you want to become a U.S. citizen. All of that is here. So if I wanted to improve my writing, speaking, or grammar skills, I could use public speaking. And I can click on that and there'll be a book, Public Speaking Success in 20 Minutes a Day. And I can download that book and read it and go through whatever I need. Now, the next section for this was the popular software, software skills tutorial. Now it has a Microsoft Office, learn computer graphics and illustration and understanding your operating system. So if we do master Microsoft Office, you'll see Access, Excel, Basic Office, OneDrive, Outlook, PowerPoint, Microsoft Project, SharePoint Designer, Visio, and Microsoft Word. It has a good range of years. So in case you're not maybe running the most up-to-date Microsoft Office, it looks like it's going all the way back to 2007 right now to help you with that if you need assistance. And any of these, so if we take Excel 2013, you can see there's several tutorials for it. So you'll start with what's new and then you have an advanced, an intermediate, and a basic. And you can start those tutorials. It, it says this total course time is eight hours, 31 minutes and 27 seconds. So you don't have to take it all in one time. Remember, you can start your tutorial and save it at any time and then return to it under your My uh, Center where it holds your books and tests for you. Now, say we wanted to do graphics and illustration. So they have Illustrator CSX sorry, CS6 and Illustrator CS5. They also have Photoshop CS6 and CS5 that you can learn from. There'll be sections under each one similar to the advanced and basics. And you know, you'll be able to stop and start those however you need. Learning Express Library really provides a great wealth of classes that you can take to further your knowledge uh, lessons to help your students or children buff up on their math and create better all around learning for anyone who's taking these. Now, we all know that everybody learns at their own speed and that's the greatness of Learning Express Library. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to call the library 505 599 and you have a good day.